Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. Happy Tuesday, by the way, best friend. I hope that today is treating you really good. We gotta talk because Selena Gomez is selling rare beauty like what girl listen let me tell you something I don't know how to feel about this we're gonna get into it in a second but what rare beauty has done in the industry I think that it is so groundbreaking I think that focusing on mental health when in the beauty world everyone is just always so focused on looking good and picture perfect and aesthetically pleasing and all that fucking bullshit and she's so focused on mental health and the you know the rare impact fund and all of the beautiful work that they do so I just feel like in the wrong hands, this can definitely turn out to be not good. So take a look at this and then we can talk. Best friend, what in the Kendall Jenner, Bad Bunny, Timothy Chalamet, Kylie Jenner is going on here? Selena Gomez selling rare beauty? Dio mio, we gotta talk about this. So stop scrolling, girl, because we need to spill some tea. First of all, shout out to Busy for sending me this. Listen, I do about like 10 to 12 videos a day, you know, with TikTok, YouTube, everywhere, girls. So I am just so grateful that you guys also help a bitch out, okay? Um, so it is being reported that allegedly Selena Gomez wants to sell rare beauty. <laughs> Dio mio, por que? So it says that actress and singer Selena Gomez has hired advisors to weigh offers for her cosmetic company, Rare Beauty, according to people familiar with the matter. Rare Beauty bought on the bankers to field interest from firms looking to invest in or acquire the company, said the people who asked to not be identified talking about private discussions. Bankers have met with potential suitors, but Gomez has not. Either way, Gomez expects to remain involved with the business. First of all, first of all, did I not slay the reading, bitch? Listen, I have ADHD and dyslexia, bitch, so sometimes my reading is... It's giving... <laughs> okay, it's giving this. But I gotta pat myself on the back, bitch. Okay, I read that good. Oh, and uh, to my first grade teacher, Ms. Ramirez, who said that I was never going to mount up to anything. Look at me now, bitch. Look at me now. She was so rude to me too, girl. Did you know she spit on my mom's face? Mm -hmm. That's a story time for another time. Uh, but anyways, best friend. Um, Listen. Uh, what? Okay, so first of all, $2 billion, girl, shit, I'd sell it for $2 billion, but you know how many you freaking, all you can shop to your drop shopping sprees you can do at Marshalls and Ross? You can buy the damn fucking franchise, okay? Um, listen, Selena Gomez has a lot of businesses. She is booked, blessed, and busy, honey, okay? Um, and I will tell you something, you know... Um, she has her acting, her singing, she has, you know, herself, bitch, because she also has to, you know, human, <laughs> you know, and human is not, is not easy these days. Being a human is not easy, bitch. There are so many ups and downs and all these fucking roller coasters rides. It's giving Six Flags, not Disney, bitch, because the Disney rides are a little bit better than the Six Flags one. But let me tell you something, you know, she is book bust and busy, so why not get like, you know, some of the load off? Do you know what I mean? But also, I do have to say, best friend, that, you know, Selena Gomez selling, she says that she will still be involved in the company, whatever the outcome, okay? So she'll still be probably like the face of the company, but a lot of the things will be, you know, maybe a little less work, a little less pressure, right? I love what Rare Beauty does, especially the Rare Impact Fund. You know, it helps so many people. And Selena Gomez is so good at always prioritizing mental health. So if this is something she needs to do to be a little bit more calm and collective and it's just a really good business move, then why not, girl? Sell the damn thing. I just hope that Rare Beauty doesn't lose, you know, its 
essence, you know, of, of being a trustworthy, beautiful company that cares about their fans and not just posts pictures selling products every single damn day and they actually have good customer service. Okay. Anyways, girl, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. You know, like always, girl, I will always keep you guys updated on all the tea. So make sure to hit that follow. And Selena, girl, whatever the outcome, honey, we love you. We support it. And girl, it is okay, bitch. And I am so glad that I got to screenshot before because, girl, I had to pay a dollar ninety nine, bitch. And I was like, <laughs> no, girl, you got to screenshot real quick. So, best friend, listen, I love Selena Gomez. You guys obviously know this. And I Obviously, I mean, if they're going to pay her $2 billion, then I say, like, girl, do it. I mean, damn, you know. And I, like I was talking about the workload, you know, she does have so much on her, on her hands that maybe selling it or, you know, taking some kind of pressure off, maybe it would be good for her. Now, I remember... Bethany Frank, I don't know if you guys know her. She's uh, She was part of the Real Housewives of New York. And she has the Skinny Girl brand. And she created the Skinny Girl brand and it became this like billion dollar industry as well. Skinny Girl popcorn and all of these, you know, things. And she was struggling because everything, you know, falls on her and her decision. She's the creator. She's the face. She's the, you know, ambassador. She's the everything. So all the decisions, everything, you know, all the products, everything has to be run by her. And she felt super overwhelmed. So I do feel like uh, when she, she was thinking about selling it, she did say that she felt like, it was, she can still be part of it. She can still make decisions, but it's not going to all fall on her plate. And she can focus on other things that she had going on, like her, you know, her daughter and all of those things. So I think that for Selena, maybe this is not such a terrible idea because it's like, you know, she has acting, she has singing, she has music, she has, you know, she has a family, she has herself, she has probably other endeavors that she wants to be a part of, but maybe rare beauty and the magnitude that it's become maybe it's just a little bit too much for one person. So if she has the right team involved and she can still be involved, but it doesn't all fall on her, maybe that's not the worst idea in the world, you know? And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I just hope it doesn't lose the essence. You know, I hope it doesn't lose the essence. I hope it doesn't lose what she stands for. I hope it doesn't lose the formulas and the, you know, because people always applaud Rare Beauty for for such a, 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 a you know, it's like such a, a grand standard that it's on. So hopefully it doesn't lose that. But what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people are happy about it. A lot of people are really upset saying that this is going to end the company. But what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. If you could, okay, if you could like tell me which one product of Rare Beauty I have to try, like the best product of Rare Beauty, which one in your opinion would it be? Let me know in the comments below because I've been trying to save up because I definitely want to start my little Rare Beauty collection. And so I want to like start it with like the best product that you guys recommend. So let me know in the comments below. I'm looking for a skincare. I'm definitely looking for like, I like like a subtle, you know, glowy makeup look. That's what I like the most. So let me know in the comments what you guys recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.